Hi, this is Nori from My Service Depot. I'm here to run through the biggest updates to Smart Service in 2016. Let's go ahead and start off with Smart Routes. Alright, so if we've got a lot of jobs on our schedule for today for our technician, we can go ahead and use Smart Routes to figure out what the best possible way to get through all these jobs is going to be for our technician. So let's go ahead and take a look at Junior's Day. He's got a couple things he needs to do. We can use the advanced routing and optimization window in Smart Service to figure out what the best possible route is. So I'll load up his name and I'll load up his jobs. Once I pick that stuff out, I can go ahead and hit auto route. Then I can select a couple things about how I want his day to look. So I can include number of stops, uh, when he needs to start, if he should include weekends. When I'm ready, I'll hit start routing the jobs. And just like that, it's going to go ahead and route all his jobs. So give me the best possible order he can take around the city. I can see to make sure that this is going to be the best thing to go from the office through all these jobs and back. When I'm done with this, I can hit finish optimizing. It'll order those jobs for me, and to put this back on the scheduler, I'll just hit finalize. Next time I visit my scheduler, my jobs are down the correct order. Smart Routes is an optional add on that's available for purchase. If you'd like to learn more about Smart Routes, so go ahead and click the link on your screen. So the next thing we're going to talk about is our customer and management notifications that can be sent from iFleet. These are really helpful if you want to let your customer know that you're on your way, or if you want to let the office know that you've clocked into the job. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of the things we can send as notifications. So once I've opened up my job, I can go ahead and change my current status. Now whenever I tap start traveling to job, it's going to automatically pop up an email that's going to go ahead and send out to my customer. It's going to come up with a couple different things uh, and you can put pretty much whatever you want on it. This can be information about yourself or the company or their job. For example, this one has my name, it has the job type I'm performing, the contact email if they have questions, and also a picture of myself. All I have to do to send this is hit send. Now my customer knows I'm on my way. And if you want to learn more about the customer management notifications, go ahead and click the link on your screen. Whenever you've finished your job in iFleet, if you need to make a special note to your office, you can go ahead and tap the pencil next to job exceptions. These are really helpful if you want to let your office know that, hey, you know, you can't post this job over yet. We need to do an additional thing or parts are needed. Maybe I didn't get to collect payment this time. And here's a couple exceptions that my company uses. So if the customer maybe declined service, we could mark that off. Maybe I'm bringing back some fire extinguishers for testing. We could mark those. Or maybe I didn't get a chance to click payment this time. I can go ahead and tap there. And now when my office goes to the posting window, they can see that I didn't click payment and adjust accordingly. The next thing we can talk about is the confirmed padlock symbol you can place on jobs in smart service. This will show up with a padlock symbol on iFleet to let the technicians know that we have to be here at a firm time. We can go ahead and check the confirmed box inside the job in smart service. Save and close. You know you did that right when you come to your scheduling board and the jobs will have these padlock symbols on it. And also in iFleet they'll display the same padlock symbol. The next thing we can talk about is the integrated purchase orders from QuickBooks. We can go ahead and hit new under our job items window. If we need to order parts, this is a great feature. We select our vendor. We select the items we need to order for this customer. Once I've done that, I can go ahead and hit the save button, which will add this purchase order to the job that will also integrate with my QuickBooks company file, send that purchase order over to QuickBooks. Whenever we receive our parts, we can come back into Smart Service, check the purchase orders available on our job, press Receive, and decide whether or not I'd like to add these parts to my job. By hitting Yes, it'll create a line item on this job to let me build a customer for the part I ordered. In addition to that feature, if you would like, you can also have your field staff perform the same task. In iFleet, they can select Purchase Orders at the bottom left of the screen tap their plus symbol, and follow the same steps as the office does by selecting their vendor and selecting the parts they need to order.
Once they've selected their part, they can go ahead and scroll to the bottom of this window and mark the part as received if it's something they picked up in the store. If they don't mark it as received, it will leave an open purchase order for you uh, when you review the job in the office. When I close out of this window, it'll go ahead and ask me if I would like to add these parts to my job, just like it did in Smart Service. I can hit yes, creates my purchase order, and adds my parts to the job. So the new improved purchase order feature is really helpful if you'd like to let your technicians take a little bit more control from the field and order their parts. That way they don't have to rely so heavily on the office by calling the office to have them order parts. They can go ahead and mark it off in the field when they need them and the office can process the bill in QuickBooks. The next new feature is going to be the mass updating utilities and smart service. If you have a large customer and let's say we want to update their phone number, we can go ahead and update it on the main customer record. So I change their phone number up here. And if they have a lot of jobs, you don't want to change that on each and every single job because it'll take a while. What you can do instead is on the record that you fix the information, come down here and hit the copy data utility. From there, you can select a number of fields that you'd like to copy to their other jobs. We'll go ahead and select the phone number field. I'll put this next, and it'll bring up any job and location that's under this customer. So I can go ahead and select a couple records if I like. Hit next. It'll tell me it's going to copy the phone from our main customer record down to these locations and jobs. By pressing complete, it will update those records for me so I don't have to go into each and every single one of them. Now we have our main customer's phone number on all of his records. Another great feature added to Smart Service is going to be the option to copy your reports and create templates. So I'll go into my reporting section. I'll find the desired report I'd like to duplicate. When I open up the customize feature on that report, next to the report's name, I'll have a new button. When I press it, it'll make a copy of this report. So if you have a report that you really like, but maybe you'd like to make a tweak to it, or that report is for one specific technician and you'd like to have a copy of this report for each, you don't have to completely rebuild the report. Use the copy report utility, name the report, whatever you want the copy to be, save that. And now I have my original report and a copy, which can be modified however I like without disturbing the original. The contact search window is also now customizable. If you don't want to see a particular column or maybe you're using something like account numbers from QuickBooks, you can go ahead and adjust that column to be the first in your view. I can come in here and press columns, select the column I'd like to move from the selected columns list. If I move it up in the list, it'll move it towards the left-hand side of my screen so I see it first. If it's something that I don't use very often, I can go ahead and push that over into my available columns. When I save out of this window, account number won't be over here anymore. It'll be at the front of my list, so I can go ahead and see my account numbers or see who doesn't have an account number, and map code is no longer there. Another great part of this is if I switch to a different view, let's say our jobs, you're going to notice that on the far right, our account number and map code are still on this side. If I go back to my customer view, they're in the same place I put them. That's because every user logging into the system can have a unique and customized view of each of these windows. Wherever you log in from, as long as they're attached to your login ID, the customized views that you set will follow. Sometimes when you're out performing work for a customer, you might notice that something else may be broken or there's a possible upsale available, something that might help them in the future, but you don't want to make them pay for it right now. You can have your technicians in iFleet create an estimate for that customer from the job. So go down here in the bottom left and I'll hit proposals. From here, I can generate a proposal, of course, choosing a job type. So maybe I'm going to give them a new generator. I'll hit create. Now I've opened up a proposal created by my technician in iFleet from the field. I can go ahead and add the items that would belong to this. And then when I'm ready, I can hit finalize and I can decide whether I want to send this customer an email of the proposal or have them take a look at it now. This proposal will come back to our office. 
either as an awarded job if you've sold the proposal and they're ready to go ahead and convert it, or if they're still thinking about it, it will come back as an open proposal so that you can follow up with them at a later date. So, once the technician has completed his proposal in the field, if he has sold that proposal, we can check this information by going to our home screen. On the home screen, you will see that you have a number of prospect jobs awarded. Clicking there will display any of the estimates created by the field and the customers they were for. These estimates were awarded by the customer, so I can go ahead and come in here, convert these directly into a job, and get it right back out there to perform the work. The estimates created in iFleet can be enabled by giving your technicians allow all permissions and smart service. It's a completely optional feature, so if you want them to generate those proposals from the field or possibly make up sales, that's the way to go. The latest feature that we've added would be new correspondence windows. So if a customer calls in and I'd like to record some information about the phone call that we're having, I can come to the home screen, hit add call, select my customer. Now, if I'd like to check this customer's balance on the fly, I can press the Update Balance button in the top right, which will let me know how much the customer's current open balance is in QuickBooks. I can record a description for what are we talking about on this phone call. And then I can record some call notes. Additionally, if you are making an outgoing call, you can record the time that you spent on the call by hitting the Start and End Call button. Record your notes as you like. Whenever we're done, we can hit end call, and that will take me over to the call result box where I can go ahead and start typing. Once I'm done, I can schedule a follow up call if I'd like, and press finalize call to log that call into Smart Service. So all of the correspondence types have been updated in Smart Service. So if we're taking a picture from the field or if you'd like to import an image from your computer, all of those windows have been updated. I'll come in here and grab a picture, which gets added to my job. And here we can see the new template where it shows up with the job this picture is attached to, some information, a caption about the picture, a preview of your picture, and also the file location of that picture. That way you can easily copy this and attach it to an email. So that'll conclude our review on the biggest updates to smart service in 2016. Our company releases quarterly updates to the program, and if you'd like to follow along with those updates, see what they're going to be, go ahead and visit us at smartservice.com updates. Sure, sure.